All right, welcome back. We continue. You got a tweet from Sean Kramer who says, I'm sure Ben would prefer the Super Bowl trophy over the MVP. I'll go with that. Yeah, I mean, that's how he keeps score mostly. Also, another uh, tweet about MVP votes. Uh, this person says it's Ben, TJ, Minka in any order. I wouldn't put Minka ahead of either of those other two. I think they've been great. Let's do some rapid fire, Chris, as we uh, round out the show here. Al in Bethel Park is up next. Go ahead, Al. Make it quick, please. Ben's the MVP, 22 and 4. And he had a stretch where he beat a one loss, Baltimore, Tennessee was undefeated, and he beat a five and one Cleveland team. Thanks. All right, Chris. I never thought I'd see the Cleveland Browns being used as a supporting case <laughs> for somebody's MVP candidacy, but yeah, he's beaten everybody in front of him, and for a while that included a run of very good football teams, some of whom might still be very good. Yeah, nine and zero says a lot. Let's go to Kathy and Derry. What's up, Kathy? How are you? Kathy, are you there? All right, let's try John and Crafton. John, welcome to the Sports Call. Go ahead, John. Hello, Bob. Hi. I just, first time caller, I met you years ago when you were inducted to the Hall of Fame down at Desher and I was the doorman. Oh, thank you. I remember you, actually. We had a pretty yeah. good conversation that yeah. night. I was a very yeah, honored. You Thanks. you and your lovely wife. Um, <laughs> what I want to ask was if the Steelers do go undefeated to the 15th would you start big ben and the boys yes chris thank you for the call thank, don't yeah. be a last time caller yes 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 you yeah you chase i'm sorry you chase history i know there are people who say oh you've got to try to you know protect them they would be getting a bye as long as this stays a 17 playoff so yes you go all in and try to go 16 and 0 because you only get one shot there's one thing to say you get a third Super Bowl if you're Roethlisberger and an MVP. Going 16-0 and on the way to possibly going 19-0 and is immortality in sports, not just football. I agree. Uh, let's say there isn't a buy. Let's see, you know, the virus changes things. And all of a sudden, would you then reconsider if they were 15-0? and Absolutely not. I stand by every syllable I just said about immortality. You've got to tr- – can you imagine if they went 15-0 and then tossed Mason Rudolph in there and then won the Super Bowl after he lost to the Browns and they had to constantly think about whether they really <laughs> just give Ben the week off of practice that week. Come on. Like the guy doesn't even need to practice. All if right. you're 15 and 0 and there's no buy in the playoffs, you play to win the game. Well, I would say that normally, but I think that would at least put a little wrench in it. Let's go to Sam in Upper St. Clair. Sam, what's up? Yeah. Hello guys. Thanks for taking my call. Bob. Yeah. I'm going to go back to something you touched on earlier. Um, and it's regarding the offensive line. I'm, I'm still concerned about not being able to run the ball. I believe you have to have a two-prone attack going into – Sam, I hate to cut you off, but we're out of time. But I appreciate that comment. Chris, thanks for your input. Sam, we'll try to get you back on tomorrow. Have a good night, Chris. Thanks for uh, – and by the way, uh, nice jacket. Friend. <laughs> good night, everyone. See you tomorrow.